Have you ever asked ChatGPT a simple question and gotten back an answer so confident you did a double take? That, my friend, is a classic AI hallucination formed from generative AI, where the model makes up facts like a tipsy trivia host, and it happens about 46% of the time. Well, what the f is generative AI? It's actually the magic behind all those tall tales. These are algorithms trained on mountains of data, everything from fan poems to blockbuster scripts that are then remixed to create something fresh. Think of this as a digital chef. Traditional AI follows a strict recipe, but generative AI throws in new spices and improvises, cooking up entirely new dishes based on the flavors it learned. Under the hood, it's powered by clever tricks like generative adversarial networks and transformer models, which compete and collaborate to refine each creation until it almost passes for human-made. That's how you get tools like ChatGPT, DAL-E, and G GPT-4, which can draft your essays, paint a surrealist portrait, or even compose a symphony on command. Brands use it to craft personal ads in seconds, artists use it to spark new ideas, and your cat, well, well, your cat's still judging you from the corner because some things AI still can't replace. But beware, if you don't fact check, you might find yourself quoting a Talking Penguin's historical anecdote that never happened. Banks and businesses have already put brakes on some AI tools fearing these hallucinations could cost billions. Next time your AI buddy spins a wild yarn, smile, fact check, and remember, you're chatting with a creative but occasionally over-enthusiastic robot. And now you know what the generative AI is, and I'll see you all next time.